<laughs> you make me feel short. How do you think other people are going to feel, huh? <laughs> yep. Come in. Oh, that's good. Right in the middle. Oh. Hello, Rita. Hello. 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 It's good. Hey, Jess, how are you? <laughs> all right. We're all here. Everybody okay? Ready to go? Is this okay? Do you need me to speak louder? Is it okay? We're good? Okay. Well, good afternoon. Thank you for coming. I would like to acknowledge just a few people who are standing behind me today. Jason Steinberg, President of the Queensland Jewish Board of Deputies. Christine Carsley, CEO of Multicultural Australia and co-chair of the Cohesive Communities Council, uh, sorry, Coalition. Rita Jabri markwell also co-chair of the Cohesive Communities Coalition. Benny Boll, President of the Queensland African Communities Council and Giri Sivaraman, Chair of Multicultural Australia and a member of my Multicultural Queensland Advisory Council. Well, thank you all for being here on this historic day. I'd like to thank the many organisations and individuals who made a submission, shared their views and their experiences with the Queensland Parliamentary Legal Affairs and Safety Committee. They helped inform the inquiry into serious vilification and hate crimes. And I would like to acknowledge and thank the committee chair and member for TUI, Peter Russo, who's also standing with me today. The inquiry resulted in 17 recommendations, all of which the Palaszczuk government has accepted. I want to assure stakeholders that the Attorney General, who has carriage of this work, will continue to progress it as a priority. But today, we're addressing recommendation 16 specifically which makes it a criminal offence to display hate symbols, including Nazi and ISIS symbols of hate, noting there will be important and respectful exceptions. As the Premier said in Parliament this morning, depictions of hate symbols have no place in Queensland, and the days for people to spread their hate are numbered. As Multicultural Affairs Minister, I meet and work with people from across our ethnically diverse state every day. I have heard firsthand just how devastating vilification and hate crimes can be to Queenslanders who are on the receiving end. As Martin Luther King said, and the Chair Peter Tui reflected in his statement in his report, it may be true that morality cannot be legislated, but behaviour can be regulated. The law may not change the heart, but it can restrain the heartless. When this recommendation becomes legislation, it will protect against this form of discrimination and hold Queenslanders who commit these crimes to account. It is also important to note that some of these symbols have rich and historic traditions and have been appropriated by hate fueled groups. The swastika, for instance, has a profound meaning in some religions, including Hinduism, Buddhism, Buddhism sorry, and Jainism. The new laws will allow these symbols to be used in respectful circumstances, such as for genuine artistic, educational, historical, legal, law enforcement or religious purposes, but will prevent such symbols from being used to promote hate and cause fear. Subject to the outcomes of consultation with key stakeholders, including those behind us, behind me today, it is intended to introduce legislation affecting Recommendation 16 in the second half of this year. I would like to invite a number of our stakeholders to speak to you now. And, and firstly, if I can invite Christine Carsley, CEO of Multicultural Australia, to the microphone. Thank you. I'm Christine Carsley, CEO of Multicultural Australia and co-chair of the Cohesive Communities Coalition. I have with me Rita Jabri Markwell, who is also the co-chair of the coalition. We welcome the government's commitment to implement legislation to ban hate symbols. This is a very, very important and welcome first step, but we would like to stress that our work is not done. We strongly encourage the government to take immediate and urgent action to implement the remainder of the, the committee's responses and recommendations and um, to honour the voices of the many, many people from our communities who have shared their stories with the committee about their experiences of hate crime and serious vilification. Racial abuse is not simply a public nuisance. It's a crime. Uh, graffiti is not, um, markings on, of hate symbols on sacred places is not graffiti. It is a crime. It is very, very important that there is immediate and urgent action to implement all the recommendations of the Parliamentary Committee, which provide a comprehensive suite of changes and reforms which must take place. Um, and we urge the government to take that action. Thank you. Uh, 
Um, I'm Jason Steinberg, the President of the Queensland Jewish Board of Deputies. It's fantastic news today on two counts. One, that uh, hate crime uh, is looking to be moved into a criminal offence and also the criminal offence around uh, the showing of Nazi symbols. Sadly, across Queensland, there are people, right-wing extremists, uh, both individuals and groups, who, with impunity, can put their hate symbols out into the public, whether that be a display of a flag or whether that be graffiti. And this uh, announcement today by the government says to those people that it's not good enough. We're not going to take that as a society and we want more harmony within the Queensland community. So I, I'm, this our community across, the Jewish community across Queensland where we have Holocaust survivors, to see those kind of symbols is unacceptable. You've seen standing behind me here and also those who are not necessarily represented here and that will be one of the things that needs to be looked at. Obviously other states have also enacted legislation. Um, Queensland will take that and, and be informed by that but we'll be consulting on those issues. So the government this morning has tabled our response that we support all those recommendations. Now as we move forward about how they'll be operationalised is something that the Attorney General will be obviously working on um, and that will be informed by the work currently underway with the review that the Human Rights Commission is doing of the Anti-Discrimination Act. So they're really important questions Jess because they're uh, questions of degree and there needs to be clear clarification around this to assist our police but also to assist the community with, that when they bring a complaint forward they can be confident that they're going to get an outcome too. And in terms of um, hate symbols, obviously the Nazi swastika has been identified as high ideology. What other um, could be captured under the legislation? So the legislation will of course be about the use of any symbols to create um, hatred and also to cause fear. So I think the important thing will be there are clear symbols known that do that and are being used to do that. Um, and Jason has spoken to obvious, the obvious ones that his community is experiencing. But also what we need to do is make sure that the legislation can continue to evolve if there are other symbols that are used to do just that. So that will be an ongoing conversation with the community, but it will be about how we um, both draft the legislation and also any regulations to support that to allow for us to keep up with, unfortunately, some of the community who will seek to be able to work around this issue. So with this inquiry was about serious vilification and hate and obviously we're speaking predominantly today about our culturally diverse communities but the point you're raising is an important one. It's about vilification of anyone. Everyone in Queensland deserves to feel safe. Um, what needs to happen now is further work around the Criminal Code, Summary Offences Act. That's complex work and that will be one of the issues that needs to be looked at, Jess. And Jason, can you talk about what you're hearing this morning in terms of like, are you increasing um, like any Sure. So um, over the past two years, so since, since COVID, we've seen an a exponential increase in anti-Semitism across Queensland. So one in six or six, one in ten, sorry, let me start again, 60% of our community have experienced hate or vilification, but 90% of those people have been afraid of coming forward and reporting it. And that's reflected across other culturally, linguistically diverse communities as well. The fear of coming forward and talking about these things is very difficult for some people. There's a number of reasons our community don't come forward. Fear of more anti-Semitism is a, is a key one. And that the police won't take them seriously. And, and this announcement today about the symbols is really important because it will give the police the opportunity to take things further. And that's what we're very, very happy about that.
Um, the Hindu Council have put out a statement um, just talking about the Premier's um, social media I guess, announcement of this morning. They say they're extremely disappointed that she referred to the symbol as swastika in her social media posts and that said that, yeah, it, um, the, leg the intention of bringing this legislation conflates prohibits and criminalises the display of the ancient Hindu symbol. My response is the comment I made um, earlier that the swastika has a profound and deep and long and ancient meaning to those communities, to Jainism and Buddhism um, and Hinduism. And we absolutely respect that and that will be protected because that is being used in a respectful and religious way. And the Premier made a statement in the House this morning, it talked about Nazi symbols of hate, but absolutely we acknowledge the Hindu community and consult with the Hindu community that they should feel no fear from this. They're not using that beautiful symbol and the deep and deep meaning that it has for their religious beliefs to cause fear and hatred in the community and that's absolutely protected. This is about people who would use symbols against members of the Queensland community and I want to honour the fact that the Queenslanders and absolute majority of Queenslanders I talk to, everybody is welcome here and they honour and respect that. This is about that cohort of people who don't see that everybody is welcome here and that they should be protected and they should feel safe. And so I hope that the message from the Premier today that's heard in the community is both there's no place for that, hate speech in this community and vilification, but equally we honour, respect and will protect our culturally diverse communities. We have heard your voices in this inquiry. We are in, um, absolutely empowering those voices, respecting those voices, and that's why today is so historic and important. Thank you. Sorry, So the Attorney General will be the best one to, to give you that pathway, Jess, about the timelines around that. I do know that some of that work is absolutely premised on the review the Human Rights Commissioner is doing, and I understand that that review is due about July, so that will further inform the work. But I do know that it is complex work. Um, as I mentioned, Criminal Code, Summary Offences Act, and the Attorney General is absolutely, resolutely focused on getting it right, because, as uh, Christine said, these recommendations are incredibly important and we want to get it right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.